All right, what's going on everybody? So today is going to be worm casting harvesting day. Um, unfortunately, I do have one casualty on this one. While I was away, my family didn't feed this bin sufficiently and we lost all the worms. When I was checking it out a few days ago, it had a smell to it. And normally if you're doing the bins right, they have zero smell to them. Um, but that one had a smell to it. So as I was kind of going through it, trying to figure out what happened, I saw no worms. So I'm pretty sure the smell was uh, the worms decomposing into the um, in, in, into the worm casting. So what I'm going to do when I harvest these three is I'm going to put it all together and evenly distribute the uh, worms in these three bins over four bins. Um, but first thing we, what you need to do is, um, well, let's show you what we're working with real fast. So we'll go ahead and just nothing special here. The the big deal, the big thing is, is for the worm casting that I like to use them. Since I like to use them for uh, my compost tea, I like to use my worm castings for compost tea because I need to strain all the food and excess stuff out of it, like uh, to the best of my ability, all the stuff that might, you know, cause any sort of um, uh, pathogen or anything. So I try to get most of the food out of it that I can, um, like eggshells and any major seeds that might be in there. Um, and so... What's difficult is, is when you get worm cat when you're making your own worm castings is um, it's wet it's a wet product uh, and therefore um, the first thing that I like to do when I kind of get it is I'll go ahead and sift through it just making sure that uh, the majority of the food that I put in a few probably a little over a week ago is ate up which it does look like for the most part it is ate there's still some residual in there. Um, but uh, it looks like to be mostly seeds. So let's check this one out. Yeah, and this is really wet. Um, so you'll see what I do here in a second uh, to kind of, well, actually, this, I'm, I'm trying this for the first time, so I don't even know how successful this is going to be. Um, but uh, once I kind of get through here, yeah, these bins still pretty strong. A lot of good size ones and this thing is just pretty much done all right so the first thing that, that i've seen some people put in things like coconut core and other uh, products uh, to go ahead and kind of uh, absorb some of the excess moisture what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put some cardboard into it uh, mix it up and then let it stay for a little bit uh, all and it seems like no no matter how much i try to get all the the fruit stickers off the food prior to going into the bins there always ends up to be in some but for now let's go ahead and just throw in a good amount of uh cardboard into it um and if any cardboard stays in it by the time it's all done i don't i don't really care because the uh worms when it goes into the soil or whatever will uh will eat it up just fine so the theory is I should be able to put this in there. It's going to absorb and then help me separate the worm castings from the worms. And this is actually a time I haven't been able to find online any sort of, uh, you know, time easy one that just doesn't, you know, sacrifice a lot of worms along in the process. I already, unfortunately, just due to mispractice to sacrifice some. Um, uh, worms to the process so I don't want to do any more. So we'll go ahead and mix this up. I have a micro cut shredder so uh, when I get um, when it starts getting close to me wanting to do uh to basically harvest the worm castings um or to to basically do new beds of uh start the worm casting process over i go ahead and micro cut a lot of the stuff that i get from like amazon and other places um and i use i try to use the stuff that has like no uh that that's pretty much only cardboard no excessive drawings or printing on it just pretty much only the cardboard. So I just remove the tape, run it through the micro cut shredder, and and then yeah, I just let that uh, 
then I just use that for my bedding. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, time lapse this real fast so you don't got to see me mix this all up. All right, so now that it's all mixed in, I'm pretty much just going to let this sit in open air for about an hour um, and just let the uh, cardboard kind of absorb up some of the, the liquid and the water as much as possible. And then we'll come back and uh, we'll start harvesting. All right, so I'll see you in about an hour. All right, so uh, now what I'm going to do is kind of take a look at this and see... Uh, it looks like it might have been dried up, you know, dried up a little bit. The time will tell. Um, maybe it could be done a little bit more in some places, but we're just going to go with it. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do now is get ready to begin the harvest, which is just get everything to one side. I usually do it to the furthest side away from me, and you'll see why here in a second. All right, so now that uh, I got everything kind of up here, see the, the, the trick here is um, on what you do to kind of harvest them is the worms do not like sun. So that's why by bringing it all up, um, number one, I'm letting, I'm giving the worms time to kind of dig a little bit further down in there because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of come over here with a brush um, and just kind of start s sweeping it towards me into this open area in each of the bins um, until I basically get to worms and once I get to worms I'll just stop go to the next bin go to the next bin and go to the next bin I'll show you here right now and I know this one's going to have just about like nothing although when I was going through it I did see some occasional worms so there are some lone survivors in here but I'll just go for a little bit. Yeah, there's like nine. And then once I get a little bit, uh, basically uh, shift it through in here towards the bottom then I just come through and I throw it in the bucket all right so I'm not gonna bore you with this because this is gonna take a while um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear everything out, get all the worms, uh, when I get all the worms to basically where I'm done harvesting, I'll bring you, I'll come back and show you what that looks like and then we'll go to the next step, which will be shifting through this to try to get some of this bigger stuff out so that I'm left with uh, mostly only just the worm casting. So all right, I'll see you then. Good morning, good morning. All right, so it's actually about a week later. Um, so let me just kind of get you caught up real fast before we uh, press on. Um, I have, this is about my, this is almost 10 gallons worth I have filled. Uh, what I did off camera was the weaker colony that I had here. I pretty much went through that real fast and uh, basically cleared it out. And I'll be, any other worms that I had, there's actually a few worms in there, definitely very little. I went and put it into the second weakest colony. Um, and then once I finished with this one, I s split the two up. And unfortunately, um, since where I have my worm bins, it's uh, about nine in the morning. You can see the morning sun. Uh, well, with the house right here, once it gets, you know, basically, a little more to the west the sun gets more to the west you did i don't i didn't have really good sunlight to do it and then plus there's other things that i, I kind of needed to get done because it was going to be raining the next day so i chose to put it on hold and then lots of many other things lots of many other things later and uh, uh and to equal a week's worth of time here i am today so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go ahead and finish uh 
basically all the contents that was in here. Um, I'm almost to the point to where um, uh, basically I'm going to take these two and then split them in half among these two right here. Um, so, uh, again, not going to try to just bore you with a lot of this stuff, but uh, um, I'll, I'll show you some of the key things along the way. All right, let's send it. All right. It's becoming a lot more difficult to go ahead and pull some of the material away from the worms because they're pretty. It's getting pretty uh, condensed here or dense with worms, however you want to look at it, on both sides, so you can kind of get a feel for. It's not completely full of worms, so I don't want to mislead you, but it's getting difficult for me to uh, pull scraps away from them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up the camera real fast, and we'll. Uh, you know, you'll just watch me very briefly uh, move these, split these up into here. All right, let's go. And actually, while I'm doing this, I think the one thing that I'll mention is that once I do split these up, I'm probably going to go ahead and move the whole table and everything uh, so it's clearly into the sun. Uh, and the worms are getting lots of motivation to basically, uh, I don't want to say swim. Swim is basically dig down to the bottom of these bins for them. Okay, I got them in the sun and I got everything kind of evenly distributed. You know, some of these guys aren't moving very fast, so I have a little bit of concern for their health. Not that they move super extremely fast. There are definitely, uh, when I moved it around, some in there that are, you know, that move pretty good. But look at this guy right here. Um, just kind of moving about. It seems a little lost. You know, let's see if we can help him out a little bit. But uh, they seem to be going kind of slow. So I'm a little concerned. Like I said, you know, I lost one whole uh, container pretty much. And so um, my concern is maybe that they're not very healthy. So I may not harvest as much as I typically like to. We'll see. We'll, we'll play it by ear. Um, but the important thing is, is by the end of today, I got them a new bed uh, and uh, basically their bed equaling their uh home and their food so we're gonna we're gonna make sure that this is all done by today one way or another even if it requires less of a harvest all right everyone so i'm i'm done harvesting what i'm gonna try to get right now um it was getting pretty challenging um i definitely could probably skim off a little bit more but uh i think uh, i'm just gonna leave this as is um the good news is as it warmed up, the worms started moving. Uh, so definitely put them in the sun was a good idea because they were moving down pretty fast. It just seems like I was uh, kind of starting to get diminishing returns. Wasn't able to s basically scoop that much off the top and harvest it. So you can kind of see, um, you know, this has the least, this has the most. I'm basically going to just kind of like even them out a little bit um, because that is sort of indicative of how many worms are in with this one having the most. Um, so... You know, it, uh, what I'm going to do next is I've already had some uh, mostly cardboard, but some cardboard and uh, shredded up, some shredded up cardboard and mail um, sort of uh, uh, soaking in water for the last uh, a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, uh, number one, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the bins um, and, and go ahead and lay the new bedding down and then s uh, split everything around. So, um, well, correction, I'm going to leave these as, once I, once I evenly distribute them, I'm just going to put the bedding on top of them so the worms have basically a familiar place to kind of hang out in and then um, I'm also then gonna bring the hose over oh wow there's a black soldier fly larva here alive that's cool um, I was actually seeing some of the black soldier fly larva some of the baby ones actually within here so that's another reason why I kind of don't want to you know disturb that so let's go ahead and mix them up and, uh, you know, it wouldn't be uh, one of my videos unless we had some time lapse and um, electronic dance music, you know, to liven things up. So let's go ahead and send it. Well, 
what's going on everybody so after editing this video is getting a little long so i'm going to go ahead and put it into two parts but i figured i'd go ahead and give you a quick snapshot of things to come you can see i got everything kind of back in place and normally it is um, i actually put some food and bedding and everything in there and looking down here there's my harvest so in the next video you'll see how i got to that point but anyways thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one